Nice to have you back with us. This one is about how important it is to use a different time frame to confirm your play. SPY was dropping and we were looking for a bottom. Where is that bottom? That's the big question. Depending on how long you want to hold the play, you need to switch to different time frames to see where that support is. It's really important that we get into the play where support is. It doesn't matter if the the uh, the trade looks over sold. If there's no support, it will continue to drop. So see all this long set of red candles at about uh, 10 15 it hit the 200 ema which is which is the green uh dark green line and then it started dropping um we look back on the different time for on the same time frame this is five minute um see this bottom i'll show you on this line uh this is pre-market i tend to use pre-market because it's a gather of a lot of different um a lot of different tickers and although there's not much volume on that it shows you that a lot of people were interested in that play spy for that instance at that level um so basically i was looking at that line and if i look back i'm like okay this was the low of a wednesday morning and people started to get interested into the play at that level i was expecting the whole thing to bounce there but before i get in on something that was pre-market volume which is super low i switched to the one hour chart one hour chart gives us more time and we could look back so i looked back see and oh there it is there's a top. It was a previous top on uh, Wednesday, the 27th and the 25th of uh, uh, August. We got to a top and I was like, okay, this was the previous all-time high. See, previous all-time high before it started uh, wrapping up to where it is now. So I was looking at it. We had the drop that um, occurred pre-market on the five minute. So I was like, okay, this is support. However, you see that there are other support lines just to confirm um, a little further down. So I was under the impression that no way we could have flushed through, let's say, 46 on that. Um, we were at least going to see um, some sort of a bounce on or very close to that 449.39 line. Now, you all see this. On, on the left side of the screen, you all see this uh, old resistance that became support on, on this pre-market uh, candle. Now, it did continue to go a little further down to, let me show you where, to this line. See this black line? I'll remove the yellow line here. Um, here it is. So it came down to this line. Now, this is exactly what it did. Show it back on the five minute here. It came down precisely to that. So you see that using different time frames, you could use that one hour in this particular case that showed you that there was a while back there was an area where it created resistance so resistance is an area where people start selling at that point anything higher they're happy to go to hold but anything lower they're not super happy they're going to sell so that creates an area of support for in case of a drop right and this is what happened today it dropped precisely to that line and then it started ramping up we went to the 450 calls thinking we would le at least rise to 450 and then some. Uh, my pr final price target was 451, which we got. Um, it was a little erratic, but um, we managed to get, I believe it was 79% on the play. Yes, I entered a little early. I entered here on the yellow line where the bounce was. However, final support was shown 
on that black line, which came from a little lower than anticipated, but still you could tell that there was plenty of support on the, um, on the one hour chart a little further back. I was not, you see here, the black line shows that there was an old resistance line, which becomes support for our purpose um, on the daily trade. Now this was same day expiration because we were expecting a bounce that was short. Um, we weren't looking for much, but when you play same day expiration, rewards can be pretty good. Obviously risk is higher. However, if you anticipate the move, knowing where support is and when you are okay to sell, um, in this particular case, I was First target was this one here. See this resistance? I'll get rid of that black line for you here to make it easier for you to see. So see this yellow line was a bounce right at the gate and it used the same line for resistance. However, I was under the impression that we could get all the way to that 450.82 and see this is pre-market support and it acted as support again where we exited. However, I was under the impression, like I said, my final um, target was 451. I believe we got just a little higher than that. If you see 451.13 was the uh, high of that rise and then it started slowly, slowly uh, turning down. However, what you need to remember is this. When you go to find a bottom, Please confirm with a different time frame. Looking back, it could be further back, but you know, if you look at a weekly, it's not going to tell you much if you're if you're playing spot. However, if you look at something that is um, a little closer to what you're um, you're playing, in this particular case was the one hour chart, it can tell you a lot about where support and good resistance can be for um, for your plan. Hope you um, learned something out of this. Keep practicing. Look at charts, draw lines, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if this was enough for you. Thank you for watching, folks, and we'll see you in chat.